my name is Mohamed Ismail and uh, I am a postdoc at uh, Rhodes University working under the supervision of uh, the professor Steve Conton and Martin Hill. And to summarize uh, uh, the title, just actually I'm, stu I'm studying what is the future impact of temperature on, uh, on bio control agents. And before talking about the emphasis plan, I would like to start with uh, the definition of a pest, <coughs> which which is any organism uh, could uh, if it could cause direct or indirect uh, damages to human. So on this, uh, according to this definition, definition the, there is the agriculture pest, weak aquatic weeds, met, uh, metis victory, uh, victors, and even human himself that sometimes is a pest. <laughs> and, uh, and of course, for, for all of these pests, there is invasive and nat native species. And to control uh, all of this is, uh, uh, pest, there is uh, uh, natural animals agents, and there is a lot of has, uh, uh, a lot of natural animals uh, agents have been reduced, uh, and including parasitic, uh, uh, predators, phytophage insects, and pathogen at However, the success of the success of any Biological control program depends on several factors. First of all, in the quantity of natural enemies uh, agents, the quality, the quality, and here the quality is expressed. Sorry. And the quality is usually expressed by size. Bigger size always linked to higher fitness. The third factor is how is speed the reproduction comparing to the reproduction of the pest itself. There's also abiotic and biotic factors, and lastly, the host specificity. Host specificity, it might be the more uh, important in, in case of wheat and equity weeds. Now what I'm studying at Rhodes, actually it's water hyacinth. You know all of them, uh, water hyacinth is a beautiful plant. And it was introduced to all parts of the world as uh, an ornamental plant. But as you know, not every, which is beautiful is not always good. It could uh, reduce, <laughs> reduce the quantity of water, its quality, and also affecting biodiversity inside water. And uh, Mina Kawa, 2012, have found that. Uh, in the area infested by uh, water hyacinth, it's also harbor for malaria vectors, or increase the population of malaria vectors. This map shows you the distribution of uh, water hyacinth from its uh, original place, from South America to all parts in the world. The perfect uh, option to control water hyacinth, of course, we don't like to, do, to uh, talk about pesticides and the uh, negative effects of pesticides, so there is big control agents. And the most uh, powerful, if I could say that, uh, in, uh, and released in South Africa is uh, Nicotinia, the weevil Nicotinia, the bug uh, uh, Ecrocotarsets, and recently uh, Megamelas has been released in South Africa. A good example to, uh, for a, a, a good biological, a successful uh, biological control program, which has been uh, done in uh, Lake of Victoria by team of Martin Hill. And as you will see, this picture transformed to this one uh, because of natural, uh, natural enemies agents, especially the weavers. But one uh, would say, if it's easy con to control it, so why we would uh, we stay talk about? Because actually it's stay a problem, and uh, if it's successful in one area, it doesn't mean it's success. It will be success for another area, and it is also different from country to country, and even and even from area to area in the same country. So here, as I said uh, before, any uh, program of bio biological control program it depends on uh, uh, special abiotic factors. <coughs> And one of the most important abiotic factor is temperature. So here actually I'm evaluating the impact of temperature of biocontrol agents. 